Today is Wednesday, uh, December 9th, 2015, and today's rant will be on uh, Morning Joe. Can the hosts at Morning Joe uh, be any more inane? So they had uh, Senator Tom Cotton on, an extremely, and I do mean extremely conservative senator uh, from the state of Arkansas, and they asked him about ISIL uh, Daesh in reference to what really could be done to, to, uh, to make things better. And of course... He started out by basically bashing Obama, which I guess they need to do every single time. He's ineffective. Um, he doesn't know what to do. He's not a leader. Um, blah, 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 blah. And then finally, after, after, and I had said to myself three or four times, get to the point. And he wasn't getting to the point. Finally, Joe asked him, hey, uh, do you think we should send troops? And of course, he says we should send about 10,000 troops in a secondary role. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. And then he thought that the rest of the coalition could be made up of Turkey, could be made up of the UAE, and could be made up of Jordan, and that they could go in there and they could secure the area of northern Syria and hold it for, let's say, about four years or so. And then, uh, you know, meaning he said it could be a couple years. And, you know, the question I have in reference to all of that, and then uh, they asked him just a little bit more, which he, he bumped around. But the point was, is that, you know, anyone, he went to Harvard and he fought in Iraq. So he should know these things. Number one is that if you're going to win a war, you have to defeat the enemy. And the enemy has to cede power. That's what surrender is all about. ISIL, Daesh, is not going to cede power. They're going to just wither away. And then when they find another vacuum, they're going to reemerge. That's what's going to happen. They're not going to cede power. Uh, now, if you're going to take geography that's what he's talking about, then is it, can you do it with the Turks, UAE, and uh, Jordan working together? Remember, the Turks used to have the Ottoman Empire, which can, can, had a lot of the territory, especially at Jordan uh, and parts of Saudi Arabia for a long, long period of time. Uh, still some resentment there a little bit. And uh, the Turk, the one thing Cotton didn't mention is, oh, Hey, what about, the, what about the Kurds? The Kurds are going to be an integral part of defeating ISIL. We need to arm them more. Uh, I don't know why we haven't. I suspect one of the reasons why we haven't is deference to Turkey. Turkey has been a long time ally of ours since the Cold War. We've armed them. We've used bases in there to monitor the Soviet Union, etc. Uh, Turkey doesn't want us to arm the Kurds because there's a faction of the Kurds that want to have an independent uh, state uh, in southeast Turkey. Uh, so they, they hate the Kurds. They won't even help the Kurds in Syria. They won't go into Syria to help the Kurds. Uh, they'll go in there to help. Uh, they'll go in there to help the Turks, uh, the Turk, Turkmen in Syria, but they won't go in there to help the Kurds. So we have the big thing with the Kurds. Uh, and so how are the Kurds going to work with the Jordanians uh, and UAE and the Turks? Uh, and with the two, ten thousand men uh, United States coalition, who's going to run the whole thing? Is the United States going to run the whole thing? If they are, what are we going to do? Are we going to invite Iran to be a part of this? Uh, are we going to invite uh, Russia to be a part of this? Because remember, Russia's working independently in, <laughs> in Syria right now. And what about the big elephant in the room, al-Assad? You know, can he stay in power? Will he stay in power? And then here's the other thing. He talks about, you know, we only need to uh, have these people here for a couple of years. Well, you know, we've blown a lot, of this, a lot of these cities and towns to smithereens. How the heck are we going to, who's going to pay for the reconstruction of this whole thing? And in reference to all of, this, uh, all of the uh, uh, refugees from Syria, What's it going to take to bring them back? What type of stability will they ever come back if Assad is still in power? Uh, how much uh, um, reconstruction do they have to have to the city, to the town, uh, to wherever these people had, had, had fled from for them to come back? What type of stable government must be in place and how long will it have to need to be in place uh, before people will even begin to come back? Because again, you, know, you have all these bombed out cities and towns, uh, we take over them. Uh, with the Kurds, with the Turks, with uh, Jordan, etc. How, how long before there's going to be running water, electricity? How long is there going to be before there's gas stations and uh, mechanic shops and bakeries <laughs> and a judicial system uh, so that someone can come back? You know, what type of industry are they going to have there? You know, these are all, all very, very difficult questions. And it's going to be very, it's going to be a very long time before that can actually be settled and uh, be done. And of course, Cotton just says, oh, we just need 10,000 troops. We can send them over there. We'll work with our partners. Everything will work out fine. And it won't. It won't even come remotely close to working out fine. 
Uh, and of course, I just couldn't understand why anyone on, on, on the staff of Morning Joe, Joe didn't really, Joe got a little bit into it. Willie just like, oh my God. Why can't they ask the questions? All the stuff that I mentioned, none of those questions were asked. You know, what, it, 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 was, just, it was just puffery, you know, for, for cotton. And it's just a disgrace, you know, for the Morning Joe show.